how's it going guys I've been out for a while but now back on track so I'm going to try to do a live video every Monday Wednesday and Friday I'm not sure what time so back on track let me show you a really cool fish if you have a fish only tank it's not very safe it's called a busha trigger uh, we get them from this one came from the Philippines but you can get them in different uh, you can find them in different locations and I got it right here in the in the fish box let me show you how it looks like because everybody's waiting for that right switch the camera and there it is that's a bursa trigger it's got real close so what can I say about him is this one from the Philippines but you can find him in different locations they are not reef safe so they will eat small fish crustaceans like crabs and shrimp maybe some snails uh, they will get big about eight to nine inches uh, tank size something that will grow up to something that will be eight to nine inches you definitely need a large tank at least 300 gallons once it gets to that size but this size right here at least the 55 or uh, 55 and up a hundred this one is about three inches uh, sometimes we get them smaller about one inch uh, really cool fish really cool very um, crazy lines on him look at that you see that red and the blue that's really nice temperament is aggressive all triggers about with this shape that they all tend to be a bit aggressive um, so you want to keep them with other aggressive fish large angels uh, uh, triggers buffers uh, to, to not reef safe races like talosomas and stuff like that the food wise so he's carnivorous so he eats meat that means that he eats meat so fish crabs shrimp stuff like that uh, here we give them miser shrimp krill chopped fish like chopped uh, silver sides clams um, uh, we like to give them half clam shells because it helps them uh, wear their um, wear out their uh, their teeth because their teeth keep growing. So that's something to keep in mind. Same thing with puffers. Uh, biology you can find them in little in reefs. You find them in reefs, of course, but more towards the lagoon areas, uh, reef flats where there's a lot of rubble macroalgae mangroves that kind of stuff um, you can find them in small groups or by themselves uh, depth very shallow three feet all the way to 60 feet that's how you can find them uh, very curious fish so it will be nipping and trying different things in your tank to see if it's edible or not so that's part of their uh, behavior behavior so they're very easy to keep we find them very easy to keep with other fish you can keep them with fish that will be larger than them uh, and aggressive also so it is definitely a fish that will definitely fight back uh, in the quarantine in this in the quarantine station here uh, we don't we don't have any uh, it's not hard for us to 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 submit them to the quarantine because they're, they're pretty hardy and they withstand copper very well hypo salinity you can do prazi uh, as long as you don't mix I won't recommend mixing medications so don't do it but they are usually very hardy and they're very easy to get eating um, fish that will be well with them so let me show you so this camera right here I'm doing like a behind the scenes so that will be another series of videos so behind the scenes of an aquarium so how hard it is to keep all these guys alive so it gives you guys an idea it will be fun to watch I guess um, so there's a few triggers that you can keep with him see the big angel that's a palm angel most likely he will be fine with something like that Boom. So right there, that's a clown trigger. It also gets really big. Filefish, you know, the more aggressive races. That's a chestnut res. 
Undulatus trigger. So, see, this this group of fish will do will do really well with uh, with him. So, uh, if you have any questions, just put some comments below. I'll try to answer them, even though it's not guaranteed because I have just so much to do here. Uh, and uh, I'll try to post another video tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Uh, I also post a lot of stuff on Instagram, Facebook. Send what on Twitter. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.